Quest has finally released the Air Link for my system. Now today is April 23rd and uh, I believe today was released for me. I'm not sure when would you guys get the actual Air Link option, but let's go ahead and talk about what that offers and how it is um, actual playing with it and the process that it takes for you to uh, activate it in your own device. First off, let's go ahead and jump into the Oculus app. Once you're in the Oculus app, make sure you jump into your settings and general and go all the way down to make sure that you're on the version 28 for the Oculus app. Now next, uh, go ahead and enable your Wi-Fi. I run on Ethernet, but for this uh, actual test, I will be also running the Wi-Fi 5G on both my PC and my Oculus Quest. Once you make sure that your Oculus Quest is in the same network as your PC, you can go ahead and go down to settings, experimental features, and enable air link. Once you enable this feature, you can go ahead and jump to your PC and go ahead and click settings, beta, and this option will now be enabled. Well, it would actually be disabled, so you would have to uh, enable it yourself, but this option was in here before you actually clicked on the experiment experimental features on your quest. Once you click that, the quest will enable the app to pair with your PC. Now for the games, I played uh, Beat Saber, Arizona Sunshine, Duck Season, Super Hot, and I honestly didn't see any frame drops or any crazy lag or latency. That's the one of the things that I was more afraid of and not being able to play Beat Saber with because of, you know, bad latency. But so far it's been working great. I will go ahead and leave uh, a little bit of a gameplay for you guys so you guys can kind of see what I see in my quest too. And again, I don't see any difference between the actual link cable and the air link. Now the only issue I've always had with the air link was not being able to charge my headset as I'm playing PC VR. That was one of the biggest downside I got from the actual link cable. But now with this new setup, I will be able to connect the quest to my PC and connect my quest to the actual adapter that goes plugged in into my wall. So that is going to be, you know, extending my gameplay to an unlimited amount of time. Since the headset will not die, and as well as using full body tracking, it would be amazing because I don't have any cables attached to me. Now keep in mind that this AirLink is still in beta mode, so it's not going to be perfect. But so far, the games I played, I haven't had any issues. I haven't disconnected from my PC or anything like that, which I honestly call that a win. Yes, it is since uh, for some reason the link cable sometimes will kick me out of the PC uh, again so far I haven't had any issues like that but I can go ahead and update you guys in a comment but down below and you know let you guys know how it is over time but so far I'm really lucky that I'm able to finally play with the air link and you know see what it's like finally having something that I can be completely wireless and have the full PC VR experience in my Quest 2. Anyways guys, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment down below whatever questions you have, as well as your thoughts on the Air Link. And uh, you know, what would you prefer to have the Air Link or Link Cable? With that out of the way, I'll go ahead and leave you guys with some gameplay so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's like uh, playing PC VR on the Quest 2 through the Air Link. And uh, honestly, again, no lag. Um, I'm a little bit of stutter every now and then, uh, but it's not something that you can really tell. But I'll let you guys judge for yourself. I'll go ahead and again, leave a gameplay and you guys be the judge. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>